I'm about to piss off a lot of fake gurus out there. I'm gonna give you my secret strategy that's working, that's dominating my marketplace, and why all these franchise companies are calling me, telling me they're selling their franchise, they're wanting to build a personal brand because they know they need to, but they don't know what to do, and they see what we're doing in our market, and they don't understand how we're winning. I'm gonna share with you how to target specific houses, not a wide reaching area, but how to actually pick up the properties that you want, not just properties. That's a huge difference. Do you right now have a marketing strategy that you can control? When you're out there marketing, are you just waiting for houses to call you or homeowners to call you from houses that you don't know what you're gonna get when they call? That is a big problem in 2020 when the market's tightening. We're gonna be talking about the biggest problems in your business, which I know what they are. I'm gonna show you how to solve all those. I'm gonna show you a system that almost nobody's gonna teach you, which is why I'm gonna piss off a lot of people, guys. So take some notes, your brain's gonna hurt after this. We're gonna talk about mailers, door hangers, uh, door knocking, skip tracing, cold calling, QR codes, funnel bots, email marketing guys and how to do this all at once and how to put people in an automated system so that it works while you're working for other income streams. Now, this is what you're struggling with right now. I know it because I talk to people all across the country. <clears throat> Bear with me. Y'all are doing a shotgun strategy. Are you going to a list broker and buying a big list of foreclosures, absentee owners, whatever list it is, just all across your area? That's probably what you're doing, right? That's why it's not working. That's why you're not doing the volume that you want or picking up the deals that you want. If you're a landlord, you need specific rental properties. I'm gonna show you how I pick the rental properties I like uh, to buy myself and how you can pick the ones you like yourself that are in tune to what you're doing in your market. And then at the end of this video, guys, I'm gonna suggest a video for you that's gonna tell you the exact best rental property to be buying right now. Now, this is what most people are doing. You need to get rid of this and go to this, a sniper approach. You cannot hit people once or twice. You need an overwhelming repetition of marketing from all different angles over and over and over on the specific types of properties you wanna buy. Also, you need to drive people to your personal brand where you can demonstrate credibility so you're winning these battles that you're getting into uh, lesser, uh, more, uh, fewer times, I guess you could say, you're getting to less leads. You need to win the ones that you get to have higher conversion rates. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Okay, step one, pick a solid brand that you can get behind. Think about this, guys. 2020 is the year of personal branding about video marketing. You guys are watching me right now, I'm not watching you. Who's in a position of credibility? Credibility moves towards attention and dollars move towards attention as well. You need to understand this as you're building your business, how to have the most credibility and most attention in your marketplace. And what you need to do is you need to pick your brand, build your website, but get your social media sites attached to it. Get all your partying pictures off there, guys. Guys, get all your other stuff on there that you don't want people in the marketplace to see because they will see it. When someone that you go to, uh, when you go to someone that's marketing to sell their house, they are looking at you on the internet. The first thing they do is they look at your website and they go on the internet and they start searching around to see what they can find out about you. Because if they're going into foreclosure and have 100 grand in equity up for risk, they wanna make sure the person that they're talking to is someone that can actually perform and close on that transaction and they don't get left hanging at the closing table. So there's real risk for them, guys. They will look at you. We get calls all the time from people that say, I got your postcard. I don't send postcards, at least not what we're talking about over here, in the traditional sense of what you guys are doing with postcard marketing. They call us, I got your postcard. I'm like, well, I didn't send one. And what's happening is they're going on the internet because they got a postcard once, they read We Buy Houses, they threw it in the trash, a couple weeks later, a couple months later, they decide they actually wanna sell the house, they go on the internet, they type that in, my videos pop up, they see I'm highly credible on the internet, and they call me. Other things that are happening, guys, I go out there, I hand them my business card with my videos, my uh, links to videos, links to social media sites, you hand them yours, they go and look at me, they see I'm literally the man, I run the biggest real estate investor YouTube channel in Texas, and they see that these people, my competitors, are probably watching my videos to learn how to do what I'm gonna do for them better right now. Attention, credibility is dollars in your pocket, guys. Start thinking about this. You don't need to generate leads with videos, but you need to have a video brand out there so that when these homeowners look you up, they go with you and not the other person that doesn't, if that makes sense. So build out a website with all your links out there and then have videos out there that show you're someone in the marketplace that they wanna work with, testimonial videos, videos of you teaching lessons to show you're credible and know what you're doing. They wanna work with someone that they know is safe, and so when you go into a house with two other people, two other competitors, you wanna come out the winner because deals are getting tougher to get out to. Now, you need to change your marketing pieces so all your social media links are on there. When I hand a card out that says, go check me out, number one YouTube channel in Texas for real estate investing, they go on the internet and they see, 
I'm essentially the guy that wrote the book on this. You need to start building your personal brand today because the market's gonna get tougher tomorrow so that when it does, you have an edge in the marketplace going forward. Then I want you guys to calculate how much money you are prepared to spend this year in marketing and you need to back into it because we're gonna calculate the cost of one house because we're not talking about marketing like we used to. We're talking about how much will we spend on one house over the next five years so that we guarantee that we're getting the houses that we want. So calculate how much you're willing to market to each house or how much you're willing to spend total each year. We'll back into it here in a second. Next, I need you to identify your target hunt zone. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share the exact perfect rental property that I love to buy that I think most people should be buying in another video. I'll give you that link in a second. But you need to decide what you wanna do with your business. Are you flipping houses? Are you wholesaling houses? Renting, owner financing, lease options? Most of you guys, because the poll I just gave, want to be landlords or own rental property. You need to pick which rental property is best for you in the marketplace uh, that you're in so that you can identify which properties you're gonna go aggressively after through repetition marketing. The price point, the age, the taxes, this is big guys. Taxes have gone up in a lot of different areas. You may have a $200,000 here, house here, and then on the other side town of a $200,000 house, but the cash flow numbers are completely different just because of the taxes. This is why you need to understand that it's not about how many people you market to, but which houses you go to that you get the ones that you want. Start thinking on a higher level. Rent rates, rent rates may be higher, taxes may be lower over here and vice versa, but they may work together to create higher cash flow. So you need to identify pockets of 100 to 200 house subdivisions where the taxes work with the rent rates and they're the age of the price point or the age rate, age range that you wanna be in. And then location even, how close are they to you? Don't go so far away if you're not conditioned to do so and you're not prepared to do so. And then look for cookie cutter neighborhoods because this is gonna allow you to be way more aggressive and win more deals. Right now, you could lose a deal for $1,000 or $2,000. That's how tough the market's getting. So when you have cookie cutter houses, meaning apples to apples are like more likely to align, you can be way more aggressive. So when you have all 1,200 to 1,400 square foot houses built by the same builder, same floor plans, you have a way better likelihood to be aggressive on that because the comps are much tighter. When you have an 1,800 square foot house, a 1,300 square foot house, square foot house, 1,500 square foot house, 2,200 square foot house, different layouts, you have way more variations and the comps are way more ranging and you will not be as confident in your offers, so therefore you're gonna make lower offers, which means your competition is gonna pick those deals off. I'm giving you a lot of high level information people pay tens of thousands of dollars for right now, guys. Last thing is, you need a partner with an agent if you're not an agent yourself, or if you're wanting to become an agent, guys, I run a national real estate team. We're in 28 states right now. I will be in all 50 states. I wanna partner with you guys. I'll have a link below here or some type of information how you can contact me. I am an EXP Really agent, guys, and what we've created behind the scenes is substantial. It is a unique proposition for you guys, a value proposition that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Private training courses, live mastermind calls, live calls, live presentations, revenue share training, guys, it's incredible what we built. So if you're an agent or you have an agent on your team, contact me to see this because we're not just an EXP agent. We built an entire system behind the scenes to help you dominate your market, and we're teaching you guys all about social media marketing and investing. Now, the reason why you need an agent or you need to be an agent is so you can capitalize on your marketing dollar. So once again, aggression in a stiff marketplace. Because when you're only buying houses, you're giving up all those commissions, or if you're working with an agent, they can share in the marketing cost for you. Because every house that was a $300,000 house that would have been a $9,000 commission that could have helped wash out the cost for your investment business, you're passing up on. So you need an agent to work with or become an agent yourself. And if you wanna to talk to me later, guys, reach out to me. I'll talk, about, talk to you about how to build passive income as a real estate agent. Now, long story short, here's where we're at. Get a brand that you can stand behind. Get some videos out there that are credible in the marketplace so when they start looking at you, they can find you. Change all your marketing pieces. I'm talking about your flyers, your postcards, everything so they can find you, so they can see you're more credible than their competition. Then you need to check how much money you have to spend, and now we're gonna back into it right now and then pick the perfect property, guys, and have an agent partnering with you. Okay, now let's talk about what we're gonna do. You need to be the name they think of or someone they think of when they go to sell their house. You're gonna do so by overwhelming the small pocket of houses through repetition marketing. You will touch them every single week. Now, here's what I want you to understand. Pick four of these. You can actually have all six on a cycle, but we're gonna talk about how to layer and layer and layer repetition right now. Mailers, door hangers, door knocking, skip tracing, cold calling, QR codes and funnels into a bot system, Manny Chat bots. This is the future, guys. It's gonna eliminate virtual assistants 
and then social location using social media platforms to get in front of them and stay in front of them with your brand. I highly recommend when you pick your brand, you create a strong logo or a goofy caricature, caricature or whatever they're called, I can't even speak right now, that they recognize when they see it. Like when you see my brand, like you cannot not forget that stupid goofy character that they see. So I'm hitting them over and over and over. Repetition. Week one, hit them with a mailer. Week two, hit them with a door, knock, door hanger. Week three, go door knocking or have an agent on your team who's gonna go door knock with your brand. Somehow they can start associating that this person's serious. They're everywhere I look in my neighborhood. Everybody in the neighborhood is talking about this person so that when so-and-so goes to sell the house, they say, did you call so-and-so? You're dominating these little pockets of 200 houses. This is a subdivision, guys. Bandit signs on the outside if you want to. And then we're gonna talk about skip tracing cold calling. You wanna cold call and skip trace all these individuals. And as we go through this, guys, make sure you're following all the rules, all the cold calling rules, all the outdoor advertising rules, no soliciting. So make sure you're doing this the right way. QR codes and funnel bots. If you are not doing QR codes, guys, you have to start looking into this. We're gonna have videos coming out on the future. One of those little weird checkerboard things that you can flash your phone on that works with uh, Apple and Android. When we market, they get a card or they get a piece of marketing with this and it says flash your phone right here for more information. They do this and what that does is it puts them into a bot system which is essentially like a virtual assistant but 24 seven contact them. Speed to lead is crucial these days guys. If you do not get to them immediately, you are losing money. Now, what happens is when they go to a QR code or they go from any of these marketing pieces or we send them through our marketing pieces to our website to give them free home analysis, free this, free that, they're opting into squeeze pages we're getting them into an email funnel. Here's another layer of repetition. Now they're in a drip funnel. We drip on them every single month, bi-monthly, with a video marketing system using BombBomb. So every month, they're getting hit, not just by outdoor marketing, but internal in their email box. And over time, it's just they see this person, they see your brand, they see your brand, they see your brand, and then they're going on the internet, they're seeing your videos everywhere because if you don't have a video brand, guys, you will not be in business in the future. Think about two years from now when someone walks home stressed out, they go, Siri, I need someone to sell, I need cash, someone to pay cash for my house, and they go, not your name, right? They're gonna give your competitor's name. Think about that. So, and then social media location, we're finding these individuals and we're friending them on social media and we're doing stuff going down or you can even run paid ads to them. So pick at least four of these, if not all of these, and cycle them so you're hitting these individuals every single week. Now what do some of these things cost right here? A mailer, probably 30 to 40 cents. 50 cents if you're not doing it correctly. Door hangers, not that expensive either. Drop my pen. Door knocking, this takes time, but an agent on your team will do this, or a new person inside your office will do this. Really, if you're serious about your business and you're working at a high price point, you should do this as well because each house is valuable. If you think about all these combined, if you're doing one hit a week, let's say you're doing it on a very conservative side, paying 50 cents a week per house. The national statistics the last time I looked says the average homeowner sells their house every seven years. So if you're gonna buy it as an investor or represent them as an agent, think about that if it's a $200,000 property, an agent, that's a 6K commission. And over here, if you buy that house and it's got 30, 40 grand in equity and it's cash flowing $500 a month, how much money are you willing to spend? We are in a very competitive market going forward, guys, for the next five years, you need to figure out how to win when it's getting tougher to win. So if you figure you're spending 50 cents a week, that's 52 weeks a year. So just say in a month, that's 50 cents by four weeks, that's $2 a house. By 24 or by 12 weeks, that's $24. Between 24 and 26 could vary, just say $20, $30 a house. Now, for seven years, say 25 by seven is $175. Be very conservative, you're spending $200 a house for seven years before the average person sells it. So even if you spend $200 and you get a listing for $6,000 and you're marketing a rental property zone, that's a big return. You need to be patient and stop scattering your marketing dollars out that's not consistent, but guarantee that you're gonna pick up these properties. What you're trying to do is be the one they call or at least one of the ones they call when they do call to sell their house or that the neighbors suggest when they call their neighbor and say, hey, I'm looking to sell my house. Do you know a good agent? Do you know a good investor? Do you know someone that can buy it quick for cash? You're trying to position yourself for the long term here because once this starts kicking in, guys, you're gonna have more calls than you can handle. Every single week you hit them, and that's what you're gonna do, if that makes sense. Hope I didn't uh, nail my point too hard. Now, I know a lot of you are saying I don't have a video brand. This is what I'm gonna offer you guys especially right now. Because you guys have stuck around this long, only people that stuck around this long, because in most of these videos, people only 50% make it, and only for you guys that are loyal followers to this channel, because I'm giving you a special offer here, I've been pressed incredibly hard for years now to create a video marketing 
real estate system through YouTube for real estate professionals, and I finally did it, and it's one of the only ones ever created uh, in real estate history. And I'm gonna give it to you guys for $247 right now, only for people that watch this video, because if you don't watch this video, you're never gonna see this offer. There's a link below, guys, down here. Go check it out. What we're teaching you guys is how to build your YouTube channel and how to build video marketing that works. Not just how to build a following, but build a business around that following. Two completely different things. I don't want you to have more subscribers and dollars in your bank account. Now, I'm not just talking about how to step-by-step -step set up your channel, but how to create your channel so it drives leads. You gotta understand, it's not about how good your video is if your video is never found. There's an algorithm which YouTube operates inside of, and if you do not do what the algorithm wants you to do, you're gonna spend a lot of money and time on your videos, and you'll never be found. You're not being taught by some average individual out there or some guru that's just lying to you about what they've done in the business. Anybody can get up on stage and say how many houses they sold or go to an REI club and say how many houses they sold, so buy my course. There is a scoreboard right there that says 31,000 subscribers in the real estate space, which in the fitness space is a peanut, but in the real estate space is absolutely uh, one of the biggest channels out there. And you guys know this. So I'm teaching you real information. I'm gonna teach you about the algorithm, the analytics, the best practices, how to drive things off into an email list, how to use the right colors, how to create the thumbnails, pretty much anything. It's about a hundred video course. And I'm gonna add to this over and over, guys. If you come across this video anytime in the future, this is a spe specialized video, so only people that watch this video get this offer. Because when you see it on the internet coming out in March, it's gonna be much higher than this. So this is a one-time opportunity, guys. There's a link down here below. I'm gonna give you a, uh, a quick behind the scenes look so you can see what you're getting in all the videos, because it's substantial, guys. So if you wanna build a brand this year in video marketing and start protecting your future and protecting your business, this is the way to do it. Now, let's see. If I stand back right here, there's gonna be a video pop-up right here that's gonna be the next video that you should watch. It's gonna teach you the perfect rental property to buy, the one that I buy, the one that I'm looking for in these types of areas. So guys, click this video right here. I hope you liked the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. See ya on the next one.